YouTube. I know you see it, people. The ISO God Sensei himself is back. We are coming at y'all with another. We do it every year. Dribble tutorial. And who better to give y'all the dribble tutorial than the ISO God Sensei himself? You see me in these virtual simulated Chuck Taylors, people. We do it every year. We got the controller cam. We got the next gen going. I know y'all wanted to see the next gen. And I'm telling y'all people the dribbling on the next gen and the current gen are exactly the same. What applies to the next gen will apply to you current people. So we got it all here. I know y'all wanted the dribble tutorial, the basic dribble tutorial for the beginners. We got to start with the beginners, people. It's a new year. I know a lot of y'all got used to the left right movement but as you can see my style this year does not take adrenaline boost so even if you don't want to dribble like this it's good to have it in your arsenal because it is the meta anything that can keep your adrenaline boost clear from getting destroyed will be the meta you want to add this to your arsenal you're gonna want to know these moves you came to the right place you see the controllers you see steezo the god hit the like hit the subscribe turn those noties on because we gonna be coming at y'all with tutorials all year you know 2k likes to patch stuff they drop different dribble sigs we go through all of them this is what we do on this channel we are known for breaking the game and a hey, you old heads gotta get off my back. At this juncture, after every year they try to patch me and they just can't, you just gotta respect it. You just have to. Every year they try to patch us, it doesn't work. They try to patch dribbling, they try to break our spirit, they try to destroy me, they're just not gonna work anymore. All he does is flick his stick, he's just moving his analog random, doing random stuff. If it's random, why the f you need a tutorial then? If I'm just flicking my stick, but it's not random, it's calculated. Just say you don't like the way it looks. Just say you just want me to pass the ball. Let me get a billion likes, and I promise I'll start passing. But until then, I'm going to keep breaking the game and give y'all these dribble tutorials. I love all of y'all, man. I really do. Even the old heads. I love y'all. I'm just saying. Hit the like. Hit the subscribe. Let's get into it. Another year. All right, starting it off, as you can see, we have the PlayStation controller. We have the Xbox controller. We're in the Pro-Am Arena. If you haven't already, go make a Pro-Am team. It's way better to learn other than the Gatorade facility for your dribble moves. And the first thing that we're going to learn, basically, that ties it all together is the basic one spin. As you can see, if the ball is in your left hand, people, you're going to want to run in a straight line and flick your right stick from about 9 o'clock to 6 six o'clock counterclockwise and it should look like this boom do it again forward boom now if you're messing up it's because you're going too much to the side or you see if you go straight it should give you that good basic one spin like I said if you're messing this move up it's because you're not going straight enough you need to run straighter Remember that if the ball's in your right hand, run in a straight angle, and then the flick the right stick from about, instead of six to nine or nine to six, you wanna go from three o'clock to six o'clock clockwise, and you should look like that. Boom. Boom. Again, boom. If you're messing up, it's because you're not running straight enough. As you can see, left hand, boom. Right hand, boom. Very, very simple. This is a basic dribble tutorial. This is gonna get you everything that you need to dribble like me though. Now that you have the basic one spin down, you're gonna wanna learn how to combo it into the Luka Doncic step back. As you can see, and this move is very easy. Once you get your basic one spins down, all you're gonna wanna do is after the basic one spin, take your right stick and flick it down. So you're going to want to do a basic one, flick down on your right stick, and boom, you will do the Luka. And the straighter you are on the basic one, the more back you will go. So let's say speed boost, boom, boom, you see, just goes right back to the three, it's an easy kill. And it doesn't get much more complicated than that, so you could do it out of 
just running. You can do it off the speed boost. And what the Luka does basically, it just takes you farther back and it sets your feet. So that's why the Luka Doncic step back after the basic one is very vital. It's a very good move. Let me know if you want the jump shot as well. As you can see, I'm cash. 10K likes for the jump shot, people. Now that you have the basic one spin and the Luka Doncic step back, I'm going to go ahead and teach you how to get it out of the Damian Lillard behind the back. Now, this one is a little bit more difficult, but keep it moving. So basically, you're going to want to do a Damian Lillard behind the back, which is basically run forward and flick your right stick diagonal down to the opposite ball hand. And it should look like this. Boom. You see? Boom. Now, after you get the behind the back, you're not going to want to do it too soon because if you do it too soon, he's going to do that. So after the behind the back, you want to wait a little bit and then do your basic one spin so you get the clean spin off. So boom, and then basic one spin. Damian Lillard, then basic one spin. You see? And you see the way I'm flicking my right stick. After the Damian Lillard, we're going to do the same concept of what did the basic one spin. It's either 9 o'clock to 6 o'clock counterclockwise or 3 o'clock to 6 o'clock clockwise, depending on what the ball is in. If the ball's in your right hand, after the Damian Lillard, you're going to want to go 3 to 6. Boom. And then you can combo it into the Luka Doncic. If you're having trouble following, please slow down the video. Look at the controllers of when I'm flicking, and it should be very simple for you. As you can see, it's not very complicated. It's all repetition when it comes to dribbling. Literally. Boom, boom, boom. And this move works a lot because they have to respect the drive. They either got to give up the two. Let's say you do a speed boost, right? R2 down. Boom. They got to respect the drive. They don't want to give up a two. But if they go, if they bite, that they're going to give up the three. Now, after you get the Damian Lillard behind the back, the basic ones, the Lucas, you're going to want to learn how to connect it all together. And the way that we connect things in this game is basically the backwards little half spin thing. So after the basic one, you're going to want to get that right there. And in order to get that when you're backwards is when after the basic one, you're backwards, you want to go from 12 o'clock to nine o'clock counterclockwise if the ball is in your left hand. So let's practice on this side first. So the ball's in the left hand, run forward, basic one, and then 12 to nine, just like that. Boom, 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 boom. Like I said, slow down the video if you need to. Ball's in your left hand, basic one, boom, boom. Ball's in your right hand, so instead of 12 to 9, it'll be 12 to 3 o'clock clockwise. Basic one, boom. Basic one, boom. Now, the reason why I'm teaching you this is because this is how we connect it all together. When you learn this, you'll be able to combo up the floor because after you do this, I want you to let go. And you see, after you let go, after that move, you want to take your left analog stick and point it diagonal up to the left. So let's start with the left hand. Do what we just learned. And that's what if you do it like that, it's because you did the timing wrong. So it should look like this. Boom, boom. And then boom with the left analog stick. So your player looks like that because after he does this right here and then you do the left analog stick like that you'll be able to combine it into moving moves like the behind the back for example watch this boom you see that hand too and vice versa and once you put it all together what this use is for is basically to connect all your combos you see once you're backwards use the left stick to get it back straight you can combine it into any moving move and you're not wasting any adrenaline bars. That's why this fucking dribble style is so effective this year. Because look. Connected any type of way. And we're not wasting any adrenaline. 
it's very overpowered you're gonna want to get those down because you can mix it in with anything and that way you don't have to use your speed boost you don't have to waste your adrenaline bar even if you wanted to do this coming up the court i always have three to two adrenaline bars ready so i could combo coming up the court let's say they get me and if i wanted to do a speed boost i still have my three adrenaline bars to get the speed boost off or I use my moving moves to get open where I don't even need to use an adrenaline bar. Can literally just, they bite down, you go back, you Luca, and you get your three. You see? That's why my style is very, very, very useful this year because it doesn't waste adrenaline bars. You're gonna wanna mix this in. Even the stage players, like I said in the beginning, use the basic one spin, so why not learn how to basic one into the Luca? Now that you got the basic one, Damian Lillard behind the backs, the Lucas, you should be able to combo coming up the floor. You should be able to basic one out of a lot of stuff. This is basically basic one out of the crossover into the Luca. You can get real just mix and match with this once you get the basic fundamentals down, which this is a basic tutorial. Let me know if you want the advanced tutorial, but this is what you're going to want to need to combo without wasting your adrenaline boost. You see. Now, I know a lot of people have been requesting this one. They want to know how to do the Chris Paul nutmeg. It's a little bit different this year. Now, coming up the floor, it's kind of difficult. You're not really going to be able to do it coming up the floor that well. I even have trouble doing it because it is the behind the back. Then you have to flick up right after with the right analog stick. So it would be di diagonal down right to the opposite ball hand then flick up while holding R2. And as you can see, it messes up. But for some reason, when you do it out of the half spin, that little moving connector move, it's a little bit easier. Watch. Half spin and then do it. You see? So if you can't do it just running up the floor, I can't even do it really running up the floor. But sometimes doing it out of the connector move. Watch the controller like that. And the, the flicks on the diagonal down di like up is a little bit slower it's slower this year it's a little bit delayed so after you do the connector half spin like that you see it's just easier to do out of this this year and as you can see this is just self-explanatory if you get basic one at an angle you can literally spam it it's pretty ridiculous so again, if you want to spam the basic one, all you're going to want to do is get it at an angle. And to get at an angle, you can do the crisp ball and look, you can just do it endlessly. <laughs> you see what I mean? Also a way to get into an angle. All you got to do is do an in and out. Now to do an in and out, let's say the ball is in your right hand. You're going to want to run forward and flick diagonal up right towards the ball hand. If the ball is in your left hand, it'd be diagonal up left and then do a basic one spin. And then you do another basic one spin the opposite way. So the first basic one spin would be that way and then that way. You see? So remember to do any basic one spin, depending on what angle or what ball is in which hand, it would either be three o'clock to six o'clock or nine o'clock back to six o'clock clockwise, counterclockwise, as you can see. So let's say the ball's in your right hand. You're going to want to do an in and out clockwise, basic one counterclockwise. And if you mess up the angle, it'll look like that. But if you get the angle just right, see, as you can see, I'm just flicking the stick three o'clock to six o'clock or nine o'clock to six o'clock and it all depends on your angle with the basic one even if you're blinking should be green and it's just like that now that you got that put together you should be able to get the logic of how everything works because that's really all it is when it comes to this dribble style is just getting the logic on what changes what you see it's just all practice it all just comes down to repetition practice makes perfect people it really is that's all dribbling is is repetition muscle memory if you want to take whatever you learned here and add it to your style you can you don't got to take it verbatim you know 
dribbling is all about creativity we all dribble different we all just uh move how we move and to cap off this basic dribble tutorial i'm gonna give y'all one very very simple dribble move dribble combo it's not even a combo it's just a way to get a kill on the iso for the people that just like oh steezo all this is too complicated i just want to get to the rim i just want to score all right well let me help you out then go ahead and put on dribble style michael jordan it's the fastest in the game and all you want to do is hold r2 run to the side stop go stop go for all the people that just don't feel like doing the combos but they want to get something out of this video I kept it till the end because this actually is one of the most broken little boom and then you can even basic one into it it's very broken I'm not gonna lie and I think I'm gonna cap it up with that 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 is that this is, this is a and that's gonna cap it off for the basic dribble tutorial of course we got more tutorials coming out throughout the year this is just the first like i said they like to drop different dribble six throughout the seasons so we will be back here this will not be the final one this is just the beginner the next one will definitely be more advanced be more intricate but you gotta get the basics down it's a very 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 different year when it comes to dribbling not anybody knows how to move you know they're just trying to get by but like i said if you take my teachings if you take what i can give you and add it to your own style just use it as a template on how to move little secrets here and there you will be moving people it is what it is we do this every year we break the game stizo the god iso god sensei himself i love every single one of y'all and like i said like i always say do not believe in yourself believe in me believe in the me that believes in all of you I love every single one of y'all. 10K likes for the jump shot coming soon. More videos coming soon. It's going to be a great year. I'm not leaving. I'm not. I love y'all, man. Y'all take care.